Whoa, look at that! You guys ever set up flip bobbers? Yeah. yeah, a couple times. Yeah. Okay. Good one. You need the net? Yeah. Nice, nice Jeff. Jeff. Man, it's just it's amazing to me how many different species of fish you can catch in each and every lake. What do you got there? Large maw. That's a nice walleye. Pike. Oh, crappie. Oh. And the method, keep it simple, stupid. Well, Jeff, I am going to launch you. On today's Good Fishing, we begin with Nate Berg of my staff and Wisconsin guide Jeff Evans meeting at one of many lakes in northwestern Wisconsin. Hey, what we like to do is go back to the basics. The hook and bobber. Absolutely. It's located in the Superior Ashland Hayward Triangle, hundreds and hundreds of pristine glacial lakes just loaded with a variety of different game fish species. I consider this area one of the most overlooked fishing destinations in all of the Upper Midwest. But highlighting a great where to multi-species fishing location wasn't the only reason I put Nate and Jeff together last year. The challenge I set before him was to tackle a typical lake during the difficult summer period and demonstrate some simple techniques that anyone can use to catch lots of fish of different kinds in a very short period of time. Now what's all in this lake, Jeff? We've basically got about everything Wisconsin has to offer here. We've got good pan fish in here, uh, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. Uh, we've got walleyes, uh, muskies, northern pike. This time of year, it's kind of what you want to do is get on a body of water that gives you a lot of options because these fish have a lot of opportunities to eat right now. Yeah. We're, we're in that transition of summer. All of the fry from, from the spring have basically hatched. All these fish have to do is really swim through the water with their mouth open and they're going to be full. So what we just need to do is find the bite that's going on. And we don't know right now if it's going to be smallmouth or, or panfish or walleyes. Um, we're just going to start fishing and we're going to keep it simple, um, not get too complicated and let the fish tell us uh, what the bite's going to be today. Let's try to catch as many species as possible because you know me, You're I on. like everything. You're on. I like everything. They find suspended fish on the edge of a large sand structure. Suspended at about 10 feet, Nate. And go with the two-fold approach. Slip bobbers on one rod and casting jigs and working them down the break on the other. I get asked a lot what my favorite color jig is. As you can see, that's my favorite color. The key to both techniques is live bait, sucker minnows, leeches, or crawlers. We got uh, some slip bobbers out there with leeches. I'm at about 11 feet, he's at about 12 feet, and then we're gonna be throwing jigs off the bottom with sucker minnows. One way or another, we are gonna find these fish and we're gonna catch them. Your bobber's going, you got a fish on there. There you go. Here we are. There's a better fish. See this one boil behind him? Yeah. How about I get that bobber in there? Large mouth. Large mouth. There he goes. <laughs> There you go. Got him. That's a nice fish. Got a good one on there, bud? Yeah. Nice small one. Seen that one surface? Yeah. Good eye, Jeff. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Good fish. Good fishy. <laughs> Jump! Yeah! There you go, good job. What was he, about 15? Something like that. Nice fish, though. A lot of fun. Nice find here, Jeff. On this rig, it's just your basic slip bobber rig with a really big split shot on it. I like to have the crawler just kind of free fall, so you get about a foot and a half, two feet of line. Then with your crawler, I'm using a number six long shank hook, and then I just weave the crawler on to cover up that whole hook. Just very, very simple, but very, very effective. I think we got one going here, bud. Sucker minnow. Yeah, I just cast it back up on that break. So now we've caught him on leeches, and now a sucker minnow. Another smallie. Nut job or? Um, I think I can get this one. It's a nice fat fish, but nothing we can't handle. You know, and I guess this is just a testament to what we were talking about earlier, Nate. The bite is definitely on a lot of different stuff. Sucker minnows, worms, night crawlers, leeches. And the method, keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid is right. I'll and show you here what we got. It doesn't get any simpler than this. A plain leadhead jig, a 16th ounce jig, and a sucker minnow was all we caught that fish on. There's a bite. All right, buddy. Show me what you're made of. Fish on. This one was on a crawler. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, nice molly, Jeff. I'm coming. This water is so beautiful in here. It's so clear. Man, that's a nice tanker. That's a good one, bud. There's a good one. Nice, nice job. Jeff. Nice job. I don't care how I catch them, man, you know? And I think too many people get caught up in the trying to catch them a certain way. There she goes. You got one? Well. <laughs> See ya, buddy. Yeah, good one. You need the net? Yeah. Gonna need a little hand there. Hey! Thank you, Mr. Bird. How'd that work out? Well, and that was a more serious deal. That bobber went right down. And, that's and that was on the leech. Right in the lip. That's so much fun. So we're going night crawler to sucker minnow to leech, back to leech to sucker minnow <laughs> to night crawler. I hope you're getting the gist here, folks. Keep changing it up, but keep it simple. Nice smalling. Continuing now in northwest Wisconsin, in an attempt to catch a variety of different fish species along the deep weed line, BWP staffer Nate Berg and pro guide Jeff Evans switched to a simple crawler harness rig. I'm getting a bite already, Jeff. Just started and I got a bite already. We're out off of that point, dropping from 15 to 18 feet in those deep weeds. And if Mr. Berg would give me a chance to get my bait in the water. <laughs> That's a pike. But, you know, we went from a stationary method of bobbers to starting to move, and look, we're getting bites. Flash, vibration, and the ability to vary the depth and speed of presentation with a juicy night crawler is always a great bet in summer. Where there's pike, there's walleye. What's happening today is kind of a classic midsummer. what we've been talking about. We had a nice morning bite. We get in a spot and then it was bang, 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 as quick as you could get the bobbers in the water. And then it was like a light switch uh, right around noon. Everything shut down. You gotta, you gotta be willing to change it up. If you're not willing to change it up, the fish are gonna beat you. And another very simple method. All we got on is a crawler harness. I have a gold spinner, he has a silver one. I'm using a half a crawler right now. He's using a full and blowing it up. What we're doing is we're following every contour of this weed line. And what this allows us to do is get these baits right on top of those fish. But it is a simple method. It, it truly is. You feel a bite, you drop back, and you set the hook. Fish on. Came through a, quite a pot of fish there. and I got a fish double, on. Double, double. You got a nice, pretty nice pike there. Look at that. Well, that's an interesting double. One technique, two species. Look at all the fish right here. This is loaded with fish. That's walleye. Fish on. The way we're fishing here with these crawler harnesses is definitely a find a method. I mean, we're finding active fish. And anywhere you go, that's a nice walleye. And here we are again on our weed line. Man, it's just, it's amazing to me how many different species of fish you can catch in each and every lake. The key to maximizing multi-species summer opportunities is not getting stuck on one spot or one technique for that matter. Keep moving to find active fish and like these guys said earlier, experimenting to find out what the fish want. That's called pattern fishing. Off deep woods dry, dry to the touch. And during the heat of summer, strategic spots along structure, thick weed edges, and a stationary presentation with live bait is always tough to beat. Be a big old boy. I think we're going to need the net. Okay, well, you take your time with him. I'll get the net. Actually, Nate, I can, I can probably get this guy. You sure? Yeah. What do you got there? Large maw. Nice fat fish. Not a bad way to start this spot off. We just moved into a, into a weed spot where the wind kind of picked up a little bit. Got another one of them nice bluegills, Jeff. Nate's got another nice bluegill on. And these weed beds are just, I mean, it's like an aquarium down there. We've seen bluegills, walleyes, largemouth, smallmouth, pike. Nice big bluegill. Look at that one, Jeff. Oh yeah. These these lakes really are diverse, aren't they? Yeah, you have so many different species that you can target. And... You have got one heck of a lake here. All right, Nate, there goes my bobber. I'm gonna set the hook. Fish on. <laughs> There's a good one. Nice bass. That's a real good one. What we did 
we had the wind pick up on us a little bit. So we decided to move into a weed bed close to shore where that wind was pushing the bait fish up in. We found a bunch of bluegills up here. And uh, look at what's chasing those bluegills. That's, that's, your sec that's your second bite in what, five minutes? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously. And that's the second beautiful bass. There, I'm down. It goes neat. The, this is crazy how many that are here. Got them. There you go, Nate. Get him up out of those weeds, nice, buddy. That's a nice fish. This is a good fish, Jeff. He's got me down in the weeds. He gets down in the weeds. Even, even with these light rods, you got to keep the pressure on him. Keep that rod bent. You got to keep him hooked. Oh, it's a dandy. This is what we talked about catching moving into this spot. Look at that. Jeff. Excellent. Excellent. Look at that. Nice job, Nate. That's a beauty. Look at that, walleyes, smallmouth, largemouth, big bluegills, pike. But again though, Nate, our, our objective was to catch fish. Exactly. It, it wasn't we're gonna do walleyes, it wasn't we're gonna do smallmouth or largemouth or pike, it was we're gonna go out and catch fish. And we've caught several different species. I think the reason we're doing so well is at this time of year you have to keep an open mind. Absolutely. If you go out just stuck on, I'm going to walleye fish, I'm going to smallmouth fish, I mean, you, you may get a few fish or you may get flurries this time of year, but as we've seen, if you're willing to change up, you're going to put more fish in the boat. Not a bad way to spend a hot summer day, yeah. huh, Mr. Berg? What a great day. What a great day.